Hey everyone, Tragic here with something a little different again. You guys know that I'm into some of this non-sports stuff from the 80s. And uh, these are actually a little different than that. They're actually a little game, which is kind of neat. Uh, based on video games, Pac-Man, Nintendo, um, various arcades, and my favorite, Dragon's Lair. These are actually some stickers and cards that you can actually rub off or scratch off and play a game. So I'm going to actually kind of give these a try right now. Uh, I vaguely remember playing a couple of these, I think, from sometime in the 80s. And uh, when I kind of rediscovered them, scouring through eBay for some other lots, I ran across these kind of things. I was like, man, I just got to do these because I need the nostalgia kick. So let's take a look here. This Nintendo pack first. And... Uh, Check it out. So that one has no gum. I think some of these other ones have gum. Here we go. So we get a sticker. Little Mac punching out. A uh, guy from Punch Out. And then you get top secret tips on the back. Yeah, don't tell anybody this tip. Enemies of all sorts lurk in the woods for Double Dragon. And there's 33 tip cards. You get Chintai, probably from Double Dragon as well. And there's a Super Mario tip right there. And here we have a Zelda, Legend of Zelda game you can scratch off. I'll have to read the rules on the back. There's Super Mario 2 and a Double Dragon. So we're going we're gonna to do these right now. Check it out. I don't want to get uh, scratch off on the uh, the old Earl there. So I'm going to get my, my handy Skyrim coin here. And check this out. I want to do the Zelda first. So... <clears throat> What are the rules here? You gotta find three swords to win. You find three rocks and you lose, right? Because you're fighting something that shoots rocks at you. You find one to advance right. And then you get a shield to try again. So when you advance right, find arrow in area one, left side to advance to area two. Oh, okay, gotcha. So then you find the three th sword strikes to win. Okay, so let's do it here let's see if we rub off this one here oh man it's like on there I have to get a different <laughs> it won't scratch off fingernail work better wow I need a different coin let me try this coin here it's a little skull coin here so these have been in the package for almost 40 well I guess only like 30 years see that I think these are from 89 and it won't actually scratch off. Maybe I need a different kind of coin, or I should just use my fingernail. I think I'm actually ruining it. I can't tell what that's going to be. Um, so we're going to move on to the next one. Let's see if we can gently scratch off this. Wow. Well, I thought these would have a little better effect, but they are actually kind of unusable right now. Come on, scratch it off. Can't even see what the graphic is underneath that. Wow. Well, I might have to go back to the drawing board on these. Let's see. That's not gonna work. Uh, <laughs> something drastic. Try a knife right here. It's a really rusty knife, apparently. So that scratch off stuff, whatever it's called, is so old that it's like peels up the actual ink that was underneath there at one point so that's not gonna work yeah well I'm not gonna get to play my game so well that's what those are what they would have been back in 1989 you might have been able to win this game but now the uh, the time has passed. Let's try Mario. I think it's gonna be more of the same. Yeah, wait. Oh, here. Yeah, it it actually taking off whatever graphic was underneath there. So there's really no way to win this game. Well, that's that for that one. I'll give another one of these a try. I'm gonna try the Video City. Actually, the the other one was from Tops. Let's try Dragon's Lair. Yeah, 
And here is some gum. And I'm not going to eat it. I've learned my lesson before. There's Dirk. Dirk the Daring. Dirk is bad. It's pretty cool. Princess Daphne. Cool stickers and a little story to go with it. And some other little stickers. So here's the game. And it would... Oh, there's four of them here. Wow. So I believe with this one, you can kind of string them together. There you go. And you can actually, like, try to go through. You have to find a certain amount of... Let's see. Dots are one point. A gold coin is 100. A sword is 300. A key is 500. If you get eight skulls, the game is over. And then you start rubbing off. Let, let's see if the rub off works. Here, let's use the skull one. Nope. Nope, the rub off stuff has an expiration date. No. Let's try this round one. Nope, it's taking up the paper. Well, that's unfortunate. But that's what that would have been. Got some cool uh, images from the game that would have uh, simulated a playthrough of Dragon's Lair. But alas, the scratch off has expired. Well, that's going to do it for this one then. Kind of a fail. It was an interesting idea at the time. I don't think that they took off big. I mean, they were probably like, like 25 cents from the ice cream guy. And they probably sold a few here and there. Um, now they're kind of a just a nostalgic collector's item. I don't, they don't really have a lot of value, but uh, they they exist, and I'm kind of interested in them. But I wanted to actually play the game, and I'm not able to do that. So that's what it is. Well, let's at least finish out these other ones here. We got a Pac-Man uh, pack to get into. I'm expecting the scratch offs to not work, but. I do want to see the cards and just see what's going on. There's a sticker. That's kind of cool. I'm eating everything in sight. Sure. That would have been great for a kid. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I like the pinky sticker there. Yeah, that's not bad. All right. I'm glad I got into these as well. Pac-Man for challenge call. You would slap this on the side of some arcade maybe. And people would call you for a, a challenge to your high score maybe. Not a bad deal. I like... I like video games, so check out my arcade channel while you're at it. Pac-Man rub-off game. So let's just see. Of course, the gum is no good. It's really stuck onto that one. Let's give it the old college try here. And this one would have been, you know, white dots are a point. Blue monsters are 10. Cherry, 50. If you find three of the other ghosts, it's a game over. Let's just try. Yep, more of the same. The scratch-offs, they actually are scratching off, but I think they're taking off whatever was underneath with it. So, yeah, these are kind of done for. This one actually works a little better than the last ones, but not enough. I don't know, are these just white dots? Am I going to find a ghost? Hey, I might be getting somewhere. I can't really tell if I'm scratching off what would have been underneath there? I, I believe I am. <laughs> well, if, that, if that's the case, then I only find a white dot, then I'm going to win. Now, it's actually peeling up the paper, I can tell. Well, that's what it is. Unfortunately, those are not any good. The stickers are kind of cool. I might end up uh, sticking those around the office. Let's do this one, the Video City. I believe these are just kind of random arcade games. From the era uh, made by tops and uh, again with the, the the puzzles on this one looks like tops and their puzzles how to play Zaxxon I got three Zaxxon out of that not even any variations some cool stickers the Donkey Kong Jr. set of stickers Rally X, I think, and then Zaxxon. I might open some more of these and uh, see if I can get some different 
ones there. You can kind of see the remnants of something there. Maybe it's just the printing from the next page. Let's see. Yep. These are toast. There's no scratching off going on on that one. This one actually is working. Hey, barely. Oh, there's a yellow dot. And it has a graphic or something that I can't tell you. Yeah, it might be the missile, but you can't easily get the rest until you peel up the paper. Hey, 1983, 37 years ago. What do you expect? But that is what it is. I'm going to call it a day for my video game scratch off cards. Had fun anyway. Thanks for checking it out. If you're still here, check out my other videos. Hit like and catch you on the next one.